Hello friends, hope you are doing absolutely fine. Welcome to our family that is Learn RPA UiPath Trainings channel. Today, we will be learning about copy file activity in UiPath. Yes, in copy file activity of UiPath video, we will be covering about first, how to copy a file from source location to destination location. Second, how to overwrite a file if the file is already present at the destination location. So, let's begin. Wait, wait, wait. Before starting, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to the channel and do not forget to hit the bell notification icon to receive timely updates from us. Now, let's begin. In this video, I have already created a workflow for copy file activity. We will go through it, execute it and after its execution, we will create another workflow for the same copy file activity. So let's begin. I will open my copy file workflow which is already existing. Let's wait till it creates workspace and add dependencies. I have two files. First, main.xaml. Second, file copy sequence.xaml. I have the habit of adding log messages and annotations at proper places. It not only helps us in reading our code, but whenever something goes wrong, it helps us a lot in troubleshooting the issues. So, in main file, I have just invoked the file copy sequence.xaml file from here. In file copy sequence.xaml file, I have dragged and dropped copy file activity from activities panel of UiPath. Let's open the copy file activity and go through its properties. The first property is from. So in from field, we will mention the source folder file path, the file which we want to copy from the source folder. In to field, we will mention the file path along with the destination folder where we want to save that file. Here, we have the checkbox for overwrite. If this checkbox is checked, then if the same name file is already existing at the destination folder, then it will get overwrite. If this checkbox is not checked and the same name file is present at the destination folder, then your path will throw error. I will go through the project folders. Here we have a source folder where we have a test file. We will check the destination folder which is empty. I will close this. I will go to the main file. Before that, for the first run, we will not check this checkbox. I will save everything. I will go to main file and run. I will open the output panel, go through the my log messages. The copy file execution is ended in one second and the file is copied. So let's go to the project folder, check for the destination folder and check the file content. Yes, the file is already present. Now we will close this, come to the file copy sequence. We won't check this checkbox and we will run this flow again. We know that the file is already present at the destination folder. Let's see how UiPath reacts to that. Ta-da! The error. 
it says the file mentioned is already exist okay now we will go to file copy sequence we will check the override checkbox save the flows we will come to main file but before that in order to track the changes we will update the source folder path so that it is easy for us to notice whether the file is been updated or not I will save this file. For our confirmation, we will check the destination folder file as well. I will close this. We'll come to main. We'll run the flow. We'll go to the output panel. Yes, the copy file execution has been ended. One and the file is copied. Let's go to the destination folder and check the file whether the content is updated or not. Yes, here it is. So I will close this. We'll close this workflow. and we will create this process again I will name the workflow selected the location where I want to save it we'll create let's wait till it adds the dependencies and creates the workspace We have a main.xml file here. We'll create a sequence. In this, I will go to the activities panel, find for the copy file activity. and drag and drop it here so let's create the variables destination folder file path we have created both the variables I always have the habit of giving environment dot current directory. So even if my project folder is moved, the 
files run successfully because it takes the dynamic path from where the main.xml file is located. We will go to the project folder. and create two folders for source folder and destination folder we will create a file instead of creating i will create i will copy the already created file into the source folder We will copy the file path by pressing shift key, right click, copy as a path, we will come to UI path and mention the value for the source folder file path. Ctrl V and we have to remove the already existing file path because it will get cover in environment.current directory this we have done one thing to note here is that in destination folder file path we have to provide not only the folder where we want to save the file but we have to mention the file name as well if we do not provide the file name along with the destination folder name then your file will not be copied this thing is very important and worth remembering. We will we have copied and pasted the destination folder path now we have to copy the file name as well which is dumptest.txt and append it along with the destination folder now we have created let's check this i will run the file let's go to the project folder and check destination folder see here dumb test file is copied successfully we will open it and check for content yes correct we will go to the source folder update the file content save it close the folder check override checkbox save the contents and run the file again It is successfully completed. We will go to project folder, go to destination folder and check for the file content. Yes, the file content is updated successfully. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have watched this video till now, please hit the like button. Also, do not forget to comment, share and subscribe the channel if you haven't done so far. This little thing brings smile on our face. Chalo then, let's meet in the next video. Till then, bye bye, take care.